This is how to make your watercolor paintings look less flat. It's flat. In this video, I'll show you a powerful watercolor technique, why I use this magic eraser, and if you want to take your watercolor art to the next level, you need to know about this tube of magic. Since it's fall season and Halloween is around the corner, we will paint this pumpkin. Pumpkin! So let's dive into the first question. Why is it so flat? A common mistake beginners make is trying to paint the whole painting with one layer. And only one layer of jam? So the painting ends up looking like this. There's not a lot of contrast or depth. It's flat. You mean flat, boring, and gray? Yeah. So here's the powerful technique beginners need to know because this technique makes your paintings go from this to this. The technique I'm talking about is called layering. That's called layering. Watercolor is translucent, so when you layer, layer from light to dark, like this. In case you're wondering, here are the supplies I use, and I put more watercolor supplies I recommend in the description. I like the highlights in the reference photo, but mine is darker. Time to get out the magic eraser. I'm cutting it to have a smaller point to work with. Magic erasers work really well erasing watercolor, but I only recommend using them on 100% cotton paper. If you use cheap watercolor paper, you're in danger of putting a hole in your paper. So this is what it looks like before the magic eraser and after. What do you do if you want it even wider? I've got a better idea. What? Well, here is where the magic tube comes in. It's made by M. Graham and Company, and it's called Titanium White Opaque. It's watercolor, so it mixes right into your other watercolors. I love this tube. Here is what it looks like before the titanium white opaque watercolor, and here it is after. Oh, you've come a long way, baby! <laughs> before I go, I want to give you a bonus tip. You, there's a bonus round. But before I do, if you're liking this video, please like and subscribe. Okay, here's the bonus tip. I really don't like my pencil sketch showing under my watercolors, so I started using 2H lead. It's light enough to see the sketch for the first layer or two, but then it disappears. You appear out of nowhere and then disappear just as fast. If you like this video, you'll probably like the videos that just popped up on your screen right now. Thanks for watching.